All right, so I'll bring you up to speed of what we're doing. My buddy Mike up there, you've seen him in a lot of videos. Mike the legend in the OBDR ride. And, uh, hang on, let's get to this. And, uh, yeah, so what we're doing is, we just found a camp spot. We're basing, uh, basing camp out of one spot and just exploring. It's gonna, we're kind of between Route 20 and Christmas Valley. I think it's called the Great Sand Desert, the Great Sandy Desert. Um, and we're just gonna go back to camp every night, cook some food. Let's see what's out here. It looks like we've already found something kind of neat, not far out of camp. It kind of looks like a home. Very cool. Very cool. We got was it a cow camp or something. Very cool spot here. We'll go explore that a little bit later. Man, I have not ridden this bike without bags on it. And things are clunking and bouncing and clanging. There's a lot of noises I'm not used to hearing. So now might be a really good time for me to tell you that, you know, this is my last camp out in the old blue truck. Um, I'm gonna get home from this trip and uh, take the camper off, deliver it to its new owners, Gretchen and Jen. Jenny and uh, put the truck up for sale get ready for the uh, the new uh, new adventure vehicle wow look at this wide open space it's kind of bittersweet you know, I really enjoy that truck I I've had and I still am having a lot of fun with it I would love to drive it up over 400,000 miles but uh, it just doesn't you know financially makes sense for me to have two vehicles and I would like to uh, I feel like I'm, I'm pushing the limits of horsepower and suspension with the camper and I don't know I guess I just want to drive my new truck so that's what we're gonna do check this out we found uh a little, we'll call it a homestead, maybe I don't know, a cow camp. Falling down, but uh, look at this thing. Somebody, obviously, somebody's been here. We could probably guess who. Found some stuff right here. Stacked it up. But what a cool little spot. It's a can dump over here. I'll show you that. Show you the can dump. But uh, we're in this little wet, well, it's not wet. There's another spot over there that's, there's no water. Early season, it's kind of surprising, but I guess it's been dry. But, uh, can dump. Yeah, kind of a cool spot. All right, we're gonna keep riding. We just happened to stop here. And uh, turn to our uh, left, and this is what we found. All right, back on the bikes. Okay, Mike, moment of truth. Woohoo! She started. I'll follow you. We're just going to go out to the end of this little clearing, see what we see. See if there's any more history out here. I see some some tire tracks here in the uh, in the grass.
Yeah, I guess that's about as far as we need to go, isn't it? All right, let's get back up on that main road. What have we got for dinner tonight? Well, I don't know. Mike brought some wild game. I've got, uh, I was gonna make like sloppy joes. We've got a couple nice meals to kind of celebrate our last, our last camp out. I don't know the last time. I have to think about this for a minute. Oh, wait a minute, we're coming up on a dried lake ply out here. Look at this. I don't know the last time I was on this bike. Um, you think about it, we're in the Avor Desert, and then after that, I don't know, maybe Garrett and I went on a ride. Speaking of Garrett, Garrett and Danny should be out here with us. A couple of uh, the crew, we all ride together. Garrett's being a good husband this weekend and uh, trying to finish his house remodel for his wife. He's super sweetheart, super patient, but man, they're doing a great job. All right, look what we found in the road. Now, is there normally water in this at the end of May? Uh, I don't know. I would think, it, but what do I know? Oh, I saw a white out there. Couldn't figure out what it was. It's cows off in the distance. this truck I have purchased a tomahawk steak that I'm gonna cook for my buddy Mike and I on the scottle and uh, we're gonna do it super simple some Himalayan salt some fresh ground pepper garlic thyme butter and olive oil let's see how this thing turns out the funny part of the story is we don't really have anything else to cook with it I forgot the asparagus um, I forgot potatoes. So we're gonna have a steak. It's gonna be like caveman style. Meat, that's all we're gonna eat for dinner. So wish me luck cooking this beautiful tomahawk steak on the scottle. Here goes. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with a lot of salt right here in this plate. Don't be bad. Very coarse pepper in there. There we go. Have that thing dry. Put it right in there. Now let's coat the top of it. Now I've never cooked one of these before. It might just be a colossal waste of money, but I doubt it. Okay. Let's pack that in. Get it on the bottom. Get it on the sides. All 
All right, look at those big chunks of pepper on there. That's how we're doing it, kids. Okay. Let's fire up the scottle. Let's get it really hot. Okay. Scottle is smoking. Let's get some oil in there. Let's pick it up, of course. Here we go. Into the scottle. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're going to here the thermometer. That side. Go. Okay, so that's gonna be amazing. Check this out. Put that butter in there. Put that garlic in there. We're just gonna crush it just a little bit. Just to get some of the oils out. There we go. Just throw a little thyme in there. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull this thing off, wrap it in tin foil, let it rest for a few minutes. Go inside Mike's, Mike's camper. And feed it. And how am I gonna cut it, you ask? Oh, I'm gonna use my CK knife and tool, Coyote Works knife. Well, it might be a little bit overdone. Here you go, Mike, there's a chunk. Yeah, it's a little bit overdone for my liking, but that's okay. Get another little chunk here for Mikey. Well, oh, that's a little better. Thanks. There we go. I'm gonna enjoy this tomahawk steak with my buddy Mike, celebrating the last camp out in the old blue truck even though we're not using it right now. Why would we when we can stay in this thing? All right, thanks everybody. Let's eat this thing. Hey, good morning. So that quite possibly could have been our last night sleeping in the little camper. We're gonna go back, walk back to over to the camp and make breakfast and uh, probably hang out for a little bit. I don't think we're gonna ride this morning, try to get home before the traffic gets too bad. But uh, our last night in the camper, our last breakfast made, I hope you enjoyed our weekend of uh, riding and exploring. And I'm, I'm really excited about starting to build the new truck. I got some stuff already purchased and I got some stuff being delivered in August. Um, I'll let you guys know what I'm going with for a sleeping system soon. Uh, but yeah, we're really excited. So we're gonna be doing some ground tenting and uh, probably just sleeping on the ground as well. Just no tarp, no nothing. Hey, Bobby, don't eat the bushes. Hey, come here, don't eat the bushes. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. If you like what we're doing, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like and leave a comment. Thanks again, everybody. See you in the next one.